Hey, welcome to Board Game Today. I'm Brett. We've got a review of Constellations, a game by Extronaut Games. It's designed by Ian Zhang and Dante Loretta. It's 30 to 60 minutes, 2 to 4 players, ages 8 and up. It's the game of Stargazing and the Night Sky. Now, this is a really, really fun game. Not just that it's a game, but also the fact that you can learn a hell of a lot. And so basically, Constellations is exactly that. It's about the constellations. So if you're into stargazing, you want to learn about stars, constellations, the night sky, this is an interesting game that's fun to play, but also teaches you as you go, to, go along. We're going to open up really quick and show off what's inside, describe the gameplay, and then talk a little bit more about why I enjoyed this game. All right, of course, we've got the nice book with the rules. Um, really easy to read, but it's not just the rules that I think is really neat about this. There's also introduction about stargazing and a little bit of info about what you're learning inside. The different types of stars that are out there, O, B, A, F, G, K, M. We're going to talk about that a little bit. How to classify stars, the difference between the star types, a word bank, uh, a little bit about constellations. It basically is a great way to not just play a game, but also learn as you go. And the game comes with tokens, didn't need to punch these, this is just for scoring, so you can score other ways, there's tons of ways out there. Now basically the game is pretty simple. You go and you collect cards, you can see here the O as we were describing it, these are the different types of stars. So we got B's, A's, F's, G's, K's, M's. You're drawing cards so that you can buy the actual constellations. You can see here, like Gemini has two A's, two F's, two G's, and two M's. So you basically would need to collect these cards to be able to play Gemini. Now, once you're done, you go take this uh, tile and you go play it on the board. And you want to match it up to other stars that are or other constellations that are out there. And the more edges that you match, the more points you score. So not just kind of a uh, resource game with the cards, it's also a puzzle game as well. For example, this would score one way, this you could score another way. Maybe you don't want to place, place it there, maybe you want to do something else to uh, do a little bit better and get some higher points. Uh, you know, these are the type of things that you need to decide. For example, you know, Gemini and uh, Eridanus is uh, much better by each other. So, you're basically building a board with this puzzle through these tiles while taking these cards and buying the tiles to be able to play. That's basically the gameplay, and you score off of that, whoever has the highest points wins. Now, here's the reason I like this. Alright, one, you got tons of facts. You get little diddy nose at the bottom of the cards. Nice, educational, tons of facts out there. I, I mean, I don't even know how many cards are in here. Every single one I believe is unique. I haven't read every single one, but there's no reason uh, not to believe it's unique. Next, you got the cool puzzle aspect. It's not just like placing tiles. You really have to think, set yourself up. Obviously, you don't want to set up the other players and let them score. So there's this nice, um, you know, Screw your opponent a little bit, action, you know, when it comes to the game, uh, on top of trying to set yourself up for the ideal uh, placement. What's also neat is that there is an ideal way to play the constellations. The more uh, likely or closer that you play to the actual constellations in the sky, the more kind of like the optimal scoring that you're going to get. So the more you go and recreate the sky, uh, the better that you're going to actually do. Now, I, I think that's all really, really cool. Uh, the game is actually designed by space mission experts. Uh, they describe it as a fun learning uh, about the night stars, constellations, and science. Do all these things together. It's a great STEM game. Um, you can learn about star science stories behind many of the constellations, which I think is really neat. Um, there's obviously information about how you classify stars. Overall, you get 36 uh, hex constellation cards and heavy cardboard, all with original art. Uh, the stars for each constellation, so you can kind of see what makes up them. There's their star cards. There's 72 of them, uh, as we describe about that. Um, basically, this is just a really fun game that you not only can play, enjoy, but learn at the same time. Uh, I read that this might actually glow in the dark, but I don't really have a good place to do that, so I cannot... Uh, Cannot verify that one way or another. Uh, oh. 
yeah, I, I, I don't have a good way of doing that, sorry. Uh, I think one thing I read that said that they actually closed in the dark, which would be really cool if, if uh, true, but, you know, I can't verify that one. So, I mean, this is like a fun educational game that doesn't feel educational. Now, I'm a science geek, I really like the stars staring up and looking at constellations, so this is kind of up my alley to begin with. Uh, so it's, you know, clearly a reason I would enjoy this. You know, I like the topic. I actually like the gameplay. This is the type of game that I would enjoy uh, anyways. But, you know, add in that it's all about stars and constellations. You got me geeking out a little bit more. So I, I have to recommend this. I think this is a really fun game. Multiple plays. As I said, two to four players. I've only played it two players, so I can't really uh, describe it on the four player of how well it does. But I gotta imagine the more players you have, the more interesting it gets. Uh... So, you can go get this for about 20 25 bucks. Recommend it. Uh, the Extronaut team has hooked us up with this review copy. We like to be nice and transparent about it uh, so you know what we get for free and what we pay for. Uh, but overall, really cool game. I like it a lot. This is definitely one you can go check out on our site. We'll, uh, we'll have some gameplay down the road. We'll go snap some photos on Instagram as we play through and, and show it all off. Uh, and you can go get this today. We've got a link beneath this video. It is an affiliate link, so we do get a small percentage of that. But by doing that, you help support our site. So much appreciated as far as that. Again, I want to thank the Extronaut team for hooking us up with this game. Just, again, highly recommend it. Really like this, the subject matter. It's really cool that you not only have a game to play, but you're learning at the same time. It's good for kids, good for adults. Basically, if you're into constellations and stars, there's no reason not to get this. I think you're, you're going to dig the game. Uh, so overall, highly recommend. This is a good recommend uh, recommendation from us at Board Game Today. Now, if you're into board games, you're into tabletop games, miniature games, card games, check us out every single day at BoardGameToday.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all at Board Game Today. As always, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, keep rolling those die and get your game on. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Now, what you can do that would be really helpful is subscribe or visit our website. We've got links right here that makes this super easy. By subscribing, you'll make sure to get further videos down the road. And of course, visiting the website, you get all the greatest news. But just watching, we really, really appreciate it. Until next time, keep rolling those dice and keep it geeky.